What up, Toasty's ears? I hope you're living, I hope you're loving, I hope you're dabbing on those haters. Dab, dab. I hope you're ignoring the boundaries of every other human being and continuing to be an obnoxious, entitled piece of shit. Let's get it. Dab. Stepping out, make sure you got your gun. Let them niggas know I'm not the one to be playing with when they saying shit. Like they robbing niggas on the block they from. I swear to God, them conundrum rubs and all them problems. What I really want from them, I got lots of sons. Pussies putting work out the mud. It's DZ, you already know. Just uh, walking down the street. Heading, heading back to the crib. Just went to Laced and the bodega. Got a sweet shirt at Laced. Nice pink Pablo S shirt. I'll have to show that. And also head to the bodega. They had a nice jacket I was gonna cop, but they didn't have my size. You know how it goes. Just walked by a bunch of construction workers doing their job, working Saturday on that grind. And one of them called it the other one a munchkin. That's gotta be the most wholesome insult you could call another construction worker. You know? Not very vulgar. Very, very, very PG, G rated construction workers out here on Huntington Ave. You know how it is. Keep it lit, keep it light. Happy meal on the ground. Now it's a sad meal. Here's that shirt I just bought that Mass Ave the back, nice pink. Feel like Pablo. A little large, a little tight, but excuse for me to get back into shape. Get into fighting shape. But yeah. I almost bought, like I said, another $70 jacket from Bodega, so you know, but sometimes, may, you know, maybe I'm a hype beast now. Comment below if you think I'm a hype beast. Forty dollars t-shirt, seventy dollar jacket, but heck, you know, sometimes you just gotta treat yourself, you know. That's how it goes. Tasty, right, Willie? Really, probably would like that. She really likes anything, huh, Will? Don't eat the dirt. Hey Toasty Z, here in my garage, just hanging with my brand new Lamborghinis. Now what up, DJ Toasty Z, I just wanted to throw this little video in there, give context to the clips, because I forgot to explain them. Um, yeah, so I went to my good friend Zachary Ziegler's Farmer's Market in Norfolk, Mass. If you're in the area, Ziegler's Market Garden, check it out. I have a link to the description of their social media pages. Go check them out. And if you're not in the area, just support your local farmers, because that's what we need more of. Support for local farmers and local food. Life is short. Your life is simple. Your life is joy. Your life is pain. Your life is wonderful. It is terrible. But it's beautiful. And loves the same. I actually got invited to go see Ivy Soul. I like I said I had interviewed her earlier in the year. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description. Might throw a little annotation in there if I can figure that shit out. It's a whole new world. But uh yeah, I mean go check out the video I did with her, the interview I did with her, but that was just a clip from she opened for Ragabone Man or something, I think his name is. I don't know. I only stayed for her set and then I bounced, but uh Yeah, the perks of being media, you know? Right now we're in Jamaica Plains, we're heading to the record store, I haven't checked this one out yet, so check it out, see if we can find any goodies, and then uh, I might hit some thrift stores, you know how it goes. Just a couple quick updates, Sly C just dropped the Work How I Work music video on the Elevator YouTube channel, if you don't know that's one of those big YouTube channels where they premiered the, that Triple X song, what is it? Um, look at me and all these big music videos so if you haven't checked that out I'll have a link down in the description to it also show coming up this Friday the 18th I believe it is Master Ace is gonna be coming to Greenfield at the Hawks and Reed 
Performance Center. It's going to be a good show. It's going to be a good time. Go get your tickets. I'll be there. You know how it is. Got some great things in the work for you guys. Kind of updates on hip-hop. Maybe do it the next two weekends. Next weekend I'll be heading out. This coming weekend I'll be heading out to Western Mass. And also down to New York. Got some major interviews lined up. I got one on Friday with a New York legend. Hint, hint. Refer back to what I just said earlier. And then on Saturday I got trying to line up a bunch of interviews. But I have one lined up with... A group that just did a song with Rich the Kid and also Michael Christmas. That's the only hint I'm going to give you. Um, but uh, yeah, just some great things in the works. And I'm also going to be heading out to LA the weekend after that for a long weekend. Got some, like I said, I got some good things in the works. So keep it locked. I know I haven't been uh, dropping interviews the past week or two, but we'll get right back to it. You know how it goes. That guy's balling us. He's flying. You might be wondering, hey Toasty, what'd you, what'd you get at the record store? Well, you know what, I'll show you, I'll tell you. See what we got right here? All right, first of all, I got a record that, a classic right here. We got ODB, you know what it is, Old Dirty Bastard. That iconic food stamp cover. To be, to be perfectly honest with you, I mean, this is a record that I, shame on me, but I literally have not listened to the record all the way through. I have not delved all the way into ODB, but obviously it's got those classic singles, Shimmy Shimmy Ya, Brooklyn Zoo, you know, just the, the good stuff, the good, good stuff. So I'm looking forward, you know, I hadn't li heard this record, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy it because it's an excuse to listen to it. It's an excuse to finally get into it. So there's that. And of course... We got that, Mr. Thugger, Mr. Thug Isolation, that little ugly mane. Shout out, little ugly mane. Like I said, another one of those projects. Now I'm excited to listen all the way through, to, through, really delve into it. Who knows? I'm going out to LA. Maybe I'll run into little ugly mane. There's a possibility. There's a possibility of that happening. We will see. We will see. You'll know about it because I'll vlog it if it happens. And then, of course, we got the Paul Simon. Not just hip hop. I like to keep the taste eclectic. It's three dollars, so this is a steal. I don't have this one yet, so I must have for my Paul Simon collection. And then, as far as the thrift store, I got some other great stuff. Got some movies. Holes is always a classic right there. Ooh, let's get that focus. Holes. Good shit. Donnie Darko. You are now Donnie Darko. And of course, we got also we got the Jurassic 5. Like I said, excuse to delve into Jurassic 5. You know how it goes. I got some clothes too. I got some jerseys which I figure are either gonna fit or I can just sell them, flip them because they're worth something. Someone will want to buy a Favre jersey. You know how it is. Brett Favre. And also Erlacher. You know, kind of blasphemy if I was actually a fan of either of these teams, but you know, Erlacher's a legend. And like I said, it's high quality. I don't know if these are like the 100% authentic champion. But um, someone will want it, so if I don't. But yeah, that's what we're working with. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. Keep it locked. More great stuff coming. We out. Water down, water down.